and there's a GTO just sitting here. Are you freaking kidding me? I've drove by this my whole life and never noticed this GTO. Okay, the metal store went great. I spent $87. On the way home, I somehow stumbled across a 1972 Pontiac GTO, a 63 Ford Galaxy, and a couple other rare cars. And uh, I, I had to stop and ask about them. There will be an update. So I just was driving home and I stopped by an old body shop I'm familiar with. I've been staring at it for like 30 years. And yeah, I've been staring at it since I was two or three years old. And there's been a Corvair out front. Now, I don't need to say that. Somebody's gonna know what I'm talking about. There's not a Corvair out front, but it's grown up and I just pulled in there. The gate was open. I met a guy working in there who's the owner's family. And he said, hey, this stuff's for sale. And we're trying to get rid of it. And I about had a heart attack because I went walking. I seen a what looked like a Tempest sitting in there. And I walked up to it and best of my knowledge, it's a 72 Pontiac GTO, a real GTO. And um, I almost had a heart attack right there. So tomorrow I'm gonna go back and talk with the owner. I got his number. He wasn't there today. The uh, actual owner, not the family. So we'll see what happens. On other news, I got 40 feet of this three quarter, three quarter. And I've got this, um, oh, I can't remember the gauge of that, but that's a thick boy. Check that one out compared to that. This is gonna be my hitch. This is gonna be bracing for the hitch. And this is gonna be my bed supports, gas tank support, etc. So let's uh, say some prayers for everybody in the Carolinas. Lord be with them. And everybody that's helping them, amen. And let's say a prayer for this truck. And uh, let's just hope that everything goes well. And it would be awesome to be able to, to get this project going. My goal with the channel is to be able to get to a point where I can go out and donate more, help out more, and enjoy the car community. But like, dude, I mean, if I could own something one day that would allow me to go out and help some people, that'd be incredible. Oh, way out of kiss. All right, I gotta work on this bed. I gotta get this thing rocking and rolling. Uh, gotta get some overtime the next few weeks so I can go and buy me a welder and not wipe out my savings account. I've got, what I'm gonna do, let me say this real quick. I'm gonna fabricate everything for this hitch, the, the actual side bracing, the bed and everything. The bed I'm gonna flux core weld. I'm gonna pack the hitch together, do some small flux core welds on it. And then whenever I get my big boy welder, I'm going to come back and burn it in with some gas and we'll be rocking and rolling. And oh, I gotta fix this window. All right, let's get some things done. This is gonna be sandwiched right here. I'm sitting here looking at it and realizing it. My brother texts me and I got to thinking, am I even gonna be able to get the wheels out from under this truck when I lift it? Oh. Let's find out. I'm gonna jack the back of this truck up real quick. And we're just going to see if a wheel will be able to come out. That's just what I'm gonna to have to do. A thought come across in some conversation about these tires I can work out the bedsides just a hair, maybe pull them out about half an inch or so and get some clearance for these tires. But if I go down a width, it should be hands down problem solved for rubbing. Uh, I've got some big, big pants. 
Build a little truck on some hand me down land. It was a hand me down, I paid for it. Oh, you know what? Let me throw a block or two. Anything to do. Mercy painted this. It's become my favorite block. Yeah. Oh, that's not good at all. Oh, that's terrible. I mean, it didn't drop. That's not, that's not good. Hold on. We're measuring Eleven and a half inches. I probably am going to have to remove the shocks to drop this thing, change a tire. It's terrible. It don't even make sense. Oh, we're at eleven. That, my friends, is a half inch drop with body weight. That's not good, that's not good at all. That means I can't get these wheels out on the side of the road without disconnecting the lower shock to let it really hang. Man, I'm really gonna have to do some work on this. say this much I feel like um, Diablo blades are fantastic Let me start out by saying that I feel like if you're not using them right you will burn through them fast this is gonna be one of those I've worn this one out you look close some of those teeth are just gone fantastic blade though I cannot get over this don't throw them away. Save them. You'll use them for lumber. I'm going to have to do some metal framing up here pretty soon, like in the next 10 minutes. And then tack back there. I think I'm going to run a bar across just to square it up. I got to build some, some type of riser back here let me let me look into that real quick i love fabricating i feel like this is going to change my shop time in the next few years if i get this welder it's going to be incredible i can actually start getting into some real fabricating i love metal work there's nothing better than it i mean being married and a wife and kids is better but like hobby wise there's nothing better just throwing that out there all right let's see I gotta go up. I need to get another jack up there. Oh my goodness. Now the hitch idea, let me get a marker so you'll see and understand this. This is kind of a cool idea. I like going off of just normal engineering and I like welds, that's fine. But if I just cut this so it was flush, I would be basically welding here and here and i'd have just a, a four side weld that's strong there's nothing wrong with that if i were to notch each side of that pipe and then set it down essentially you've got gravity working right there and you know from an engineering standpoint that's gonna lock it lock itself onto the frame next thing so when I go to weld, I will have a full weld across the bottom, the top, and each side. Now, 
the side welds are going to add more let's just call it square footage for example and we're going to have a nice nice sturdy weld in here on top of this physical backup so kind of like how a helicopter drive shaft works if you're familiar with that if the couplings break they break in a fashion that the two drive shafts lock together so if you have a problem they all they go back to mechanical 101 same thing with this hitch it's kind of my idea and if i want to come back with some nice angle iron or anything like that and reinforce this frame rail i can it's kind of something we've been talking about me and my brother so we'll cut this out on each side that nice little notch and that should add some really good rigidity so i'm happy with that let's see what we can do yeah I gotta cut some for real. This is the tailgate situation. You can see there's a fat gap up there. is now the strongest. I'm going to notch the lower section of this frame rail because i need to raise the bed just a little bit more and the frame is interfering with the bed so we're going to cut right about here each side i've got to be able to if you can look we're we're sitting like this this needs to come up so and i know right now there's a big gap but it's about a half inch difference even when the bed's square if you look right here see we're down right here because of this this side's touching over here and it's still just a smidge down i'm gonna make that notch come in here and clean it up and then uh, go from there well that escalated quickly got to adjust the, the jack Oh, Lord help us. I am centering this bed in the rear on these frame rail. And uh, I know they're centered. So once I do that, I'm gonna throw my bars vertical, tack it in from frame rail to this crossover bar cross member whatever and then i'll tack them i'm gonna set my gap up here as of right now that looks awesome this needs to come up a little bit so i gotta set my height as well the center the height and my my forward and rear setting is kind of where i'm playing right now That's the metal cut for the front. That front's welded in. And I gotta do some triangulation back here. Do some braces from here to here, each side, because if you look closely, she does a little shimmy. I went ahead and got a jack over there, leveled out this cab to the bed, that firewall to firewall, if that's what you want to call it. So those are leveled out. Uh, the thing that drives me nuts is the body lines all match up, but the pinstriping don't. Somebody pinstriped this thing with the one with body mounts for blew out, I guess.
fit there with a hammer? Will it fit this side? Oh yeah, there's a dent in the bottom of this little bracket down here. So I'll add just a quarter inch. great progress and I'm very content with it I mean I'm doing what I can with what I have I know there's a thousand other better things out there welders wire brands whatever helmets everything uh, ways to do the bed but this is what I'm doing is how I'm working with it I don't have a million dollar shop I don't have so much time to just live out here I have a family I have things I have to do so I'm happy with this this is more than I could ever dream of, and I'm very, very thankful for that. And I'm thankful for the people that are watching and commenting and liking and subscribing, and even the ones that aren't. But it's really nice that people are enjoying the project from what I can tell. I'm getting some emails. My email's listed on YouTube under the little page thing if you want to send me an email. a bunch of notching to fit over these welds on the frame. I have a lot more bracing to do. I have some gas welding to do. I've got some uh, two inch tube bracing to do. I've got the one inch by one inch or three quarter, three quarter bracing to do up front. Uh, everything's coming along nicely. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I burned that bad boy in on flux cord. I'm gonna come back with all my bracing and everything. We're gonna gas weld and get it real nice. So this thing is stout. I'm very, very, very happy. My hitch is gonna come through. I'm gonna have a coupler that might hang down below it. I might go on top of it. It just really depends on the height and I have a height adjustable hitch, but it's one of those things. I don't know where we're going yet with that. So I got a birthday party to get to. Let's shut this shop down.